guys this is Cody in this video I'm gonna show you 15 series shortcuts to help you better edit or manage your photos let's start simple first thing we show you is called GIF maker it's it simply convert a few photos or a video to a GIF let's just run it and select a few photos Okay, it's complete. You see this? It's a JF now. This shortcut that simply split splits an image into equal segments. So you can easily make those multi part Instagram photos. So let's just run it to see how it works. Select this photo. Horizon segments, it's four, and the word goes thirty to three. That's twelve segments. So all the segments for the are saved to the photos app. You can check it here, as you can see here. Well, segment. The next will be optimized image. This shortcut uses Tinify API to actually reduce the size of an image. Well, you need to get the API key. We can only run this. Uh, I didn't. Run this from the share sheet. You need to run this from the share sheet. Go to the photos app and select a photo. You can change the width, the width, width, if you want, or leave it as it is. Okay, it's optimized now. It only has. 411 KB it's pretty much the same quality you can set the lane and save to camera roll the next shortcut would be image recognition so this may be help for the for the blind it's, uh, you can take a photo or select from the photo library. Let's just check this one. But the voice is, as you see, this. Shortcut tells you what's included in this image. As you see, this photo contains clothing, uniform, person, hat, military uniform. It actually speaks, and of of course, they also show the text. Image generator. So you can see this is a creator. So let's just run it. Select image from memory. Just select this one. It seems take too long. So you input a text on the top, and if you need be, you can also type a text at the bottom. Let's just preview this. It's good, isn't it? Text on the top and at the bottom. The six. The next shortcut would be. Combine image this one so it allows you to combine a few images or screenshots you can combine them as you see can combine them horizontal or vertical so let's just select simply select to, to screenshot no space 
that's it of your course you can also combine them vertically okay that's no need you can run this shortcut from the share sheet or open this shortcut directly and take a photo or select photos from the photos app well let's just uh, run this shortcut and select an image select a simple image choose a language English let's check the result it's good well this shortcut is using the OCR the space API so uh, the free API only allows you to uh, recognize photos that uh, under one megabytes so if you want to uh, copy text from large image you need to uh, pay for the API key then you need to get this long screenshot teacher shortcut and get it from the link in the description okay let's just run this shortcut so let's just select the three screenshot that I just took this three and tap down then you get a long screenshot but this is not perfect you get a status bar so we're not satisfied with this no screenshot it's just adjust parameters and remove top status bar of course you can also choose another options choose multiple option options okay then you can delete the original pictures they just keep them it's, it's also not perfect but but you will do the job well the ninth shortcut would be add a watermark to your image first you need to prepare your watermark image so i, I didn't have a particular watermark so i just select a random photo as a watermark this this actually needs two shortcuts so this so first you need to generate the embed code so get you need to run this embed get embed code shortcut you need to prepare an image as a sh your watermark i didn't have a particular watermark prepared so i just set like a random image as a watermark so it may not be pretty so let's just see how it works just select this one okay that's the embedded code it's just step down and then on the watermark shortcut on this shortcut so i'm just tap well before we run this shortcut this is actually the pre-made embedded code you need to paste your copied embedded code here and delete the other one so here you see three examples so this is the original shortcut so I don't want to get messed up because I have to share it with you so so I just add an, another action so get clipboard just add it here so this will actually get what I just made as a watermark so let's just run this shortcut just select this one then whatever you choose it doesn't matter so let's just select a random one because we don't use that let's just add the image to the bottom left to what and you get the preview this short this image here it's the watermark let's just step down and save the camera roll here it is device screenshots first you run this workflow tap ok to to download the device images okay that's done now you can take a screenshots let's just take a screenshot okay it's here now tap share and select shortcuts first you, you need to enable it 
uh, some if you are in iOS 11 or or 10, it's workflow. Then you run this workflow device screenshots. Which device do you need? This time I'm gonna select iPhone SE. You see? That's it. Let's just uh, save it. Save the camera roll. Of course, you can also select any photos from from your camera roll and add uh, the device frame. Let's get this metadata shortcut. I've shared the link in the description. Just open the link in Safari and you get this shortcut. Then you just run it and run short shortcut. Then you select a photo. Let's just select this one. And you see this metadata. Now let's cancel this one. You can also launch the shortcut from the share sheet. Of course, you just select an image and tap the share button. And from the share sheet, you select wrong shortcut. Select the image, this shortcut. It's the same metadata. Let's tap OK. And you can now delete all metadata of this image. Of course, let's just delete. Now it asks you if you want. Let's tap delete. So it will delete the data metadata of the shortcut of the image and create a new one there are three duplicate photos this one and this one this one Sam and this one let's see if we can delete this duplicates first just open the shortcuts app and then you get this shortcut I'll share a link in the description. Simply run this shortcut. It gives you a preview. You find three duplicates as you see here. The first one, the second one, the third one. If that's no problem, just tap down. It asks you if you want to delete them. Just tap delete. Okay, or oh, deleted photo what shortcut. Let me show you how it works. Let's first run it. Then you set up your initial password. So let's simply set to one, two, three, four. Then tap it again to confirm. One, two, three, four. Then password setup is complete. So I'm gonna add photos. Let's run it in my password and let's create a new album. Of course, let's name it. Then then you put a name. Then you select fifth. Then you add a few photos to the album. Then you delete the photos that are in the photos app, because they are also saved in the photo world. Okay. It's then you open this album to check them if you want you can always re restore the photos to the photos app or delete them let's go check it again you know let's put a wrong password if you enter the password wrong five times your photo will be locked one two three four that's it for password protect your photos of course you can create another album as you can see here, I got two reverse image search shortcuts. One is for Google search and the other is Ting I reverse image search. Let's just, uh, I shared a link in the description, of course. Let's open the Photos app and select an image. Tap on the share button. Then select shortcuts. If you didn't see this option, you tap more to enable the shortcuts option. Option. 
then it says for Google reverse image search the second one is Google reverse image search and this will bring you the search re results as you see here the Google reverse image search to results it's kind of cool of course you can also go to the shortcuts app and run this shortcut then it will ask you this, this, this time I'm going to try T9 reverse image search then it will ask you to select a, a photo to search for okay you get that so I'm just gonna step play of course you can run this shortcut from the share sheet if no image input so this will bring you the photos app so you can choose an image Let's just uh, select this one then you see the results here and tap down so you can just save this image without background to your camera roll or just select change the background so select another photo as the background so I'm just select background here let's select a photo as the background select this one so you see you, you can also add this and zoom in uh, move this move this or okay test this tip down and then picture are saved as you see okay that's pretty much it you can find all this shortcut links in the description hope you find this helpful if you do please